Right, I'm gonna show you how to use the simplified laurel leaf. Doesn't have any backside. And um, it has a bit less polish than our original. I'm gonna show you how to multiply it and create a wreath. So let's start by making a copy. Okay, let's uh, rotate it like this. I think we need to modify the shape a little bit. Okay, like that. So this part is closer to the left side. We're at an angle. Okay, let's scale it a bit smaller. And move the pivot point to somewhere about here. Make sure it's centered from, from the other view as well. And I'm going to use the array tool with a 300 degree total rotation on the z-axis. Uh, make, make some instances and uh, try some numbers, see how much we need. Okay, so 6 is a bit too low. 7, 8, looks like 9 is about right. Alright, and that's a single element for the wreath. And you can select some of these leaves and, um, and maybe flip them around. Okay, not like that, but um, flip them around. just so they are not all pointing in the same direction. And it really helps to set uh, the reference coordinate system to local for this. And let's flip this one as well. Okay, so now it appears a bit more random, even though it's not. And we're gonna group this thing together. Shift plus move upwards and make an instance. Okay, let's rotate it a bit so it covers the previous layer. And it looks like we might uh, adjust, adjust it just a little bit more. By using the FFD 2x2, two two, I'm gonna make the top a bit more toppered inwards and the bottom a bit more outwards. Okay, and then make another copy. Okay, it looks pretty good. And once we have two elements copied, we can um, keep making some instances, maybe slightly rotate them, so it looks a bit more natural. And um, let's measure. Let's measure how long of a, how long of a stack we need, and we can do that by creating a circle. And um, scaling it up a bit. Make sure you scale up the spline instead of the whole whole object. Alright, and um, once you have a line like this you can measure to see the length you need. 312. So let's make a box or a rectangle, a rectangle that's 312 units long and that's about the length we need for Okay, it looks like we have something wrong here. Looks like for some reason we got offset. Uh, 
I'm just gonna fix the stack. And keep making some copies or instances until you reach the top. And I think we can get rid of this upper layer. All right. So once you have the stack ready, group it together. Add another FFD 2x2 modifier and let's taper it a little bit since you can see in this reference this part is thinner than the bottom part. So I'm going to taper it a bit. And add the bend modifier. To bend it into shape. Right. So something like this. Let's make an instance on the other side. Okay. I just wrote at it and made another instance so these ends meet and these have some empty spice between them. Right, this should be covered with some other ornament. And to make sure the inside is filled as well, I'm gonna create a circle here. Enable it and render a new port with a radial profile. Okay, let's set the sides to six and the interpolation steps to, to 1 should be alright. Let's go live study double poly. So what I'm trying to do is um, give it some tapper and just move it out of the way so you can see it better. Right, let's add some turbo smooth. Okay, symmetry and uh, turbo smooth. And make sure it fits in. Okay, looks good. Just move it to the center. And if you wish, you can add these little spheres here. Simply by creating a small sphere. 
12 segments should be enough. I'm gonna flatten it a bit, move the pivot point to the center of the wreath. Okay, so it's actually in the wrong place, but it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the array tool. Stem on the x axis. You're gonna find the axis here. Actually, it's the y axis. No, the rotation axis is around the x. And increase the segments until they meet up. Okay, let's select those spheres by just using the Select Instances tool. And you can move them over here. Group together, maybe scale a bit larger. Move to left, to right, rotate a bit. for this side. And that's pretty much it uh, for this wreath. Okay, just drop a ribbon on top and you're done. 